have been hugging the bejeepers out of all the morning glories on the fields because it's true. A classic musical by the sea. Rodgers and Hammerstein's Carousel has arrived at the historic Algonquin Theater. Featuring a cast of 37 actors and a 16-piece orchestra, this beloved show is sure to make your heart soar. We're here in Manasquan to get the scoop from the cast. Tell us about Carousel. Carousel was Rodgers and Hammerstein's second musical collaboration together, as do some of their other musicals. It deals with difficult subject matter. It's a beautiful story, it's beautiful music, beautiful score. Richard Rodgers was later quoted as it being his favorite musical. Carousel is a haunting story about a carousel barker who finally finds love but doesn't know how to deal with it. I have the honor of playing Billy Bigelow, the carousel barker. He is maybe one of the most complex male characters in musical theater. He is angry, and yet there's a tender side. He's violent, and yet he's caring. And it, the challenge of him is getting the audience to understand that there's two sides to him. He's not just this violent, angry guy. Oh, well, Bill, like a tree, he'll grow with his head held high. A hundred percent of my job is dealing with my character and finding where he can be tender and where he has to be angry. But the credit truly goes to my co-star because she has the double job of making her character seem lovable, but at the same time making me seem lovable. So so really, it's all based on her. How, how does she make the audience love me? And I think she's doing a great job doing it. I play Julie Jordan. And what is she like? She is, as the lyrics say, a queer one. She is quiet but strong, and she is just so in love with Billy. And even though, you know, he doesn't always treat her the best way, she just loves him so much and you have to admire that. What do Joseph and Christine bring to these iconic roles? Well, they're just terrific. They've been great to work with. It's been a, you know, a collaborative partnership and I'm very, very proud of what they're doing on stage. Now your involvement in the show, doesn't it go a little bit beyond just directing? Yes, well, uh, I'm also the technical director here at the Algonquin, so I'm involved with virtually every production that goes on stage in that capacity. But for this one, I also design the set and the design the sound as well. This production features a 16-piece orchestra. What is it like to perform with such a full-sounding score? I've spent my entire life singing this score with a karaoke track, or if I'm lucky enough, one piano player. Wednesday night, I remember just thinking to myself, I am finally singing this with an orchestra. The adrenaline and the energy that went through my body hearing them was amazing. If I loved you. It brings tears to your eyes to perform this show with that orchestra. They're incredible. I mean, it just swells and fills the room, and it's, it's gorgeous. Away we'll go, blow me high and low. What kind of a night am I in for when I come to see this show? It's uplifting for anyone who has lost someone or dealt with abuse. It gives you a little glimmer of hope that, you know, everything's going to be okay. You're going to cry a little bit, you're going to laugh a lot, and hopefully you're going to walk away, though, feeling fulfilled and enriched. Oh, my God.